Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a top 5 list of things that you should not do when starting off in Unturned. This guide is intended for people that have just started off in Unturned and are having trouble, so if you're already a master at Unturned, then this might not be of much use to you. I've created some top 5 videos intended for beginners or noobs before, and if you wish to learn about some more beginners tips, I'd recommend navigating to the playlist in the description where I have my 3 top 5 tips videos there. There's some good information there, so I'd recommend checking the playlist out after this video. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. First tip, never set foot on a road. I'd even go as far to say to never allow yourself to even see a road. Now I get that as a new player, roads will lead you to cities where loot lies and that's why people tend to travel along the roads, but when you're out there, you are very exposed. If you ever get shot at, you're going to have nowhere to run, no cover to hide behind, and bandits will often lurk around in the hills aside from the roads and up in those trees, so they will be watching the roads for people and vehicles to ambush, and if you're out there, you're just asking for a bullet to the head. So when you first spawn in, find a road and remember which direction is traveling uh, but follow it without seeing it if that makes sense essentially just stay in the forest the trees and brush will provide you a ton of cover and it's very rare that you'll come across people there now unturned maps are also relatively small so finding a town or any sort of location will happen after only a minute or so of wandering but once you do have weapons and vehicles then it will be more safe to go on roads Second tip, don't go running into a location without a melee weapon. When you're first starting off, mastering the whole walking backwards and punching the zombies trick is not going to be easy, so running into a town with no weapons will make zombies overpower you very quickly. So what you need to do is work stealthily. Crouch walk into towns, and if you need to get super close up to a zombie in order to get somewhere, go prone. Now do your best to not get seen by a zombie until you find some sort of melee weapon, then work on a 1v1 basis. Almost all melee weapons will cause zombies to be stunned, so once you find a melee weapon it's easy to get a single zombie stuck in a stun loop, but if there's two zombies you can't get both of them stuck in a stun loop, um, so you need to work on a 1v1 basis. Try taking advantage of this rather than getting the attention of a hundred zombies at once is kind of what I'm saying here. My third tip is regarding mega zombies. Now, mega zombies spawn at military locations, more specifically O'Leary Military Base, the center of Seattle, and at the heli crash at the golf course in Washington, and Summerside Military Base and Confederation Bridge on PEI. If you do not have at least 75 rounds worth of ammunition when you see a mega zombie, do not try to kill it. If you feel confident that you might be able to climb atop some sort of object and punch the guy to death, be my guest, but my best suggestion is to leave them be until you're well prepared. Mega zombies can kill you in 2-3 to three hits, that's it, and their range is longer than any melee weapon you have in the game, so don't try stabbing the guy to death. And they also run faster than your non-sprinting speed, so if you're out of stamina, you're also dead. So in a nutshell, stay away from those guys for a bit until you have the gear to actually kill them. My fourth tip, don't kill people. Now I don't say this as some sort of advocate against KOS or anything, but I often get myself killed whenever I try to kill people. Now aside from creating enemies on the server whenever you kill somebody, playing greedy is just risky, and it's not worth it. Play defensive is what I would say. Only kill people if you are cornered or if you know for a fact that the person you are trying to kill will die instantly and not pose a risk to you. If you happen to see somebody run into a town and out of sight, not bothering you, just leave them be. I've died way too many times by playing greedily, trying to go for those unnecessary kills, and just losing all my gear. My last tip is to not play on anything other than easy mode when starting off. Because let's face it, you suck. I sucked at Unturned when I started, and we all did when we started off. I considered myself pretty skillful and knowledgeable of FPS games when I started Unturned, but it didn't help much at all, really. There's a lot to deal with and learn about in Unturned, and by playing on easy mode it will help you focus on mastering more basic aspects of Unturned, like melee combat, stealth, learning the new maps, etc., without having to worry about pesky things like bleeding or breaking bones, having to deal with rare loot and faster hunger and thirst depletion. 
all that not so good stuff. Now playing on easy mode might feel noobish, but it's okay. Once you feel comfortable with the basic things, then I'd recommend joining normal or hard servers. And there you have it, those were 5 of my tips that I'd recommend new players avoid doing, but for other experienced players out there, if you're watching, comment down below some of your votes. I'd love to see what kind of ideas you guys have as well. If you're a new player looking to learn more about Unturned, once again I have that useful playlist in the description, so be sure to check that out. Anyway, that is all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out.